Hello, gang. Welcome back to Last Train Home. Uh, I'm getting close. I'm getting close. At least to the next stop. Let's get moving up. I'm, I've got the timer down. Let's just leave it down. Get moved up. Hit the lake. Hit the trade port. Trading post. I'll hide out between these trees for a bit. Let's move it. Hmm. Got a couple rank ups. They come to a complete stop. Good stuff. Okay. Let's see. Promoted to Sergeant Major. Good stuff. What does he normally do? He's doing some sort of engineer's job. John, I think John's. Running the engine. Where is he? For that mustache, there he is. <clears throat> Could really used to get him out. Why is he there? Caring. Monarchists. Well trained. to pull him out. Anyway. What's we got here? Ah. Tree levels up as a cook. Good stuff. Ah. Vaklov. As a worker. Because he's also a pacifist. That's right. That's right. Okay. Alright, let's get... I'm gonna need all three of my wilderness specials, so... Let's get those guys together. I need to select... Create a squad. Where is Maxim? Oh, he is so exhausted from stuff. Oh, I hate to do it. One percent chance of overdose. Not seeing any problems. He's got a job available. Don't see why I'd do anything other than marksman with him. It's not right now. So we're just gonna keep that on the down low. Alrighty. Now I need the other two. Herbs, that's Anton. He's shaking. Can I deploy him? Yes. Okay, go as a rifleman. And I need campfire. Campfire, 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 campfire. Cobble. There we go. Confirm. Deploy. Now I also need to hit these. Uh, and from there, they'll need to go across to there. All right. Well, let's put together a... Avra squad. Looking for the gemstone. Alfred. He's tired, but they're all tired. Do I have anybody else readily available? 
with that. No, I'm not seeing them. All right. Go for it. Go ahead. You know what? Go ahead. Send her. And I just need somebody with... It's not exhausted. Bobbis. I remember you I don't remember deploying him on anything. I clearly have. Confirm. Come on, come on. Go. All right, with them going out, ah, train work. Three hours finished crafting process. Occasionally gives back some resources. That's a good one. It's all maxed. Do stability repair cost by fifty Okay, now we're gonna get that one. Cause that's gonna be a regular huh? turn back round. And everybody here is just exhausted. Dang it. Alright. Next one up. The other two have got it. It's a hundred wood and two hundred cloth, though. Stamina recovery plus one per hour. That's all good. This one needs that. Some reason that one's got more wear and tear. Hold up. Mm. What are we doing? Okay, we're researching good stuff. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. gotcha. All right. That one's in the worst condition. It's only now filling in. I mean, seriously. Dom, go get some rest. There. All three things are... Same, same for... Repair work. There we go. I've got four cars being updated. Nice. All right, let's get busy. Hour and a half, four cars all getting upgraded. And the team's going out. Hmm. Your soldiers right into the village. At first glance, it seems abandoned, but soon spot many wrecked buildings and decaying bodies. Such a death and rot. Twist the guts of your soldiers as they walk through this terrifying scenery. Shivers run up their spines, and not because of the ever-present cold. Leave. Search for survivors. Search for supplies. 
Supplies. Soldiers want to spend as little time as possible in this forward place. Briefly search the buildings, grab all the things that are valuable at first sight, and leave. If they go through the whole village, they leave in hopes. The memories of this place will fade as soon as possible. Food and some fuel. But I can still do the merchant thing. Foodstuffs. I'm really not needing any of that. I mean, seriously. Not to change any more weapons. Funny English, I can still trade out here. Um, I'm gonna wait. We're good. That's team two. Reroute. Team one. Start your thing. Let's check the train. Another 38 minutes. All right. Since I said all basically the same time frame. We... 620, 6.30. Why is it not done? That's not counting accurate. It's not. Huh. Bedrick, Main Sergeant Major. And all three work are good on him. Yosef, Sergeant Major. Nice. Well, safety managers are effective in preventing injuries. Good. All right. What we got up here? Oh. Stimulants are spendy. Medkit. How many of those do I have? Twenty-six. Here's a problem. I don't know how. I've tried looking. I don't know how to check that meeting with the white army officer mission. What the parameters needed were. I couldn't find it. Hmm. Could definitely ditch a few things. I ditch a hundred wood. It's going to be way over, so. But with that, yep, I can grab all of that and I was feeling I may need more of these. Things bad out here, but it'll be a lot worse. Why? Why would you do that? It's because. See needing those real soon. Mm. 
that help build me in order to get the next rail car. Might actually be able to afford it. All right, before I bring them back, nineteen minutes. Really? You think? Yes! Oh! Lake was full of fish. We even found some old nets by the pier. Main problem was figuring out how to catch and retrieve all the fish. But you only got 21 food. That seems like such bullshit. Get back here. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Mm. I'm an idiot. It's not moving because it turned to night shift. Hater, what did you do? Rifleman. Good worker. Communist belief. I'll find somebody else to... There we go. All right. Uh, that makes sense now. I knew something was up that, that wasn't right. Something wasn't right there. Two. Three. Four. Down we go. Stuff. Making sure, you know, nobody left there. All right. Get on board. Let's move up. Dang it! Am I stuck here two hours? Alright. Get them out there. Dang it. I hate having to do this all the time. Come on. Major obstacle's been removed. We can move again. There was an accident. Really? Four, it's really fine. Ooh, that looks good. Report, we searched the area and gathered what was usable. 
affected by Maximilian's trait. Has knowledge, but there was nothing to find. Really? Then why does that look so good? Uh, it was affected because of Gobble trait. Well, it was really helpful. Antonin's herbalism trait. 15 food, 65 herbs. Kick butt. Get back here. We're moving up. Get back here, you guys. Come on. What was that? Oh, it saved. Come on, come on, come on. I wish I had more time for rest before we go into this. There's so many lootables out here beyond. Alright, here we go. Pause. Now let's break these squads down. Let's do this. Almost caught up. Wait. This is I should be there. The gold train to arrive in Kudlin and meet the white officer Bel Belov. As the train pulls slowly into the station, locals approach it, begging for food for their children. You notice numerous guard posts, machine guns aimed away from the railroad. Well, that's good of them. The Trillium soldiers look weak and thin. The White Army Lieutenant leads you and your advisor to a checkpoint. You can wait for Captain... Eleri Belov. Eleri Belov. Major, it doesn't matter how small the city is. Churches are green or red, blue or yellow. Right color for colors. None can change the depressing nature of this place. Siberia is a... Interrupted. Your advisor is interrupted in the midst of complaining by a young man who curtly concludes his words. Siberia is our homeland. It doesn't matter what color it is. Young man, taller than anyone else in the room, introduces himself as Captain Ileri Belov. His uniform has seen better days... His face is drawn and pale, and his beard unkept. We have orders here for you from Tataskaya. Yes, I know. Show me. Belov unseals the envelope, starts to read, then he slowly refolds the letter. His face turns a whiter shade of pale. Reds are attacking our lines every day. They bombard us artillery. I don't know how long we can hold, hold out like this. Have you got any weapons for us? I had 20 something of those. 700? 5, 700? I've been gathering the food. Yes. Woohoo! Morale boost! Yes. You have the option to bring resources to help the whites. Good. Rouse up, rouse up, rouse up. We may yet have a chance then. But I've called the lieutenant you met earlier back to the room and proceeds to issue him with hurried instructions. I'll thought gather everyone you can find who is capable of moving these supplies. Men, women, children, I don't care. Unload the weapons and deliver them out to, to our lines. Bello turns so you can see from the look on his face he is relieved. You're our deepest gratitude, Major. We don't have much, but we'll share some fuel with you. Your train must get cold at night. Thank you, Captain. The fuel will certainly help. Now, can you brief us on the location of the gold train? Sixty? That's nice. Reds are taking the gold reserve to Novo Nikolavitsk. 
What they plan to do with it there, we don't know. It may well just be a st stopover. Who can say? Our agents will sabotage the gold train and, with any luck, delay its departure by a few days. Hopefully the Reds won't be able to repair the damage before you get there. If you can sabotage the train, can't you just take the gold? Don't have the men. I would love to snatch the gold from the hands of the Reds. I have a city to defend, and we're under constant attack. Besides, you have enough soldiers, and plenty of space in your armored train to, to seize the gold and deliver it to our forces. If anything goes, if everything goes well, my men will find you in Novo. You go on to speak briefly with Balov about the civil war. He answers your questions without much enthusiasm, and soon orders his troops to escort you back to the train. Time for part three. I love this base on history. Probably really wants to look up and see, you know, how accurate is it. Oof. Station. Anything on the station? It's a pub. No. I'm saving my money. Merchant. Dang it. I was hoping for train cars. No such luck. Fuel is good. I'm good. What they've got, I'm good. Prices are lower still here. Dang. How is my ammo now? Oh, I'm still way good on rifle ammo. Okay. I was worrying for nothing. Let's go. Yeah, let's just move out. I'm going up a little bit. Maybe up to about here and send... Reform those squads and send them out. To the appropriate sides. Ooh, that one doesn't require anybody special. Beautiful. Let's go. Step it up. Actually, I can launch the squads from here. Uh. Mm. Soldier has reached level five of the role cook. Yes, I am aware. And had leveled up as a rifleman. Okay. Well, that's good. And she leveled up. Level 5 cook. Very nice. Also a level 1 medic. I really need a hospital car. I really, really need that hospital car. Speed of heal. When I get... Hmm. She needs to knock off. Johnny! Go ahead. I'm going to put her back on day shift. Because for some reason, she's not resting properly on night shift. So, you go ahead, partner. Keep that going. Keep our food building up. Multiplying. Let her rest through the night. You know what? Let's do this. Mm. Yeah. All right, this this squad doesn't require anything special. So, Bedrick.
You go. How's better? Go ahead and do something. Now he's got that agitated injury. He's cooking. Chan's working things. Tom, go ahead. And let's get that one. All right. Let's see. She can go. Alfred can go. And I need one more. Anybody. Hmm. He drives during the day. So yeah, go ahead. Go! special on. They'll come back when they're done. Ah, oh, down to pick a few good trees. Oh, really? It's diligent. Affected it. He worked so hard, the rest of us to put the rest of us to shame. <laughs> I was better. I was particularly inspired. Overdid it and got hurt. Because of her work trait, chaotic. She lost the axe. We had to spend some time looking for it. Ah! Uh, it's like over a hundred wood. I'll take that. Get back here. I need to give you somebody with a merchanting. Skill ability. Should be working on the train. Really want to be doing that in the daytime. Is there anything simple and easy we could do? Got that. That's all done. 50 wood, 20 metal. Get some supplies back. Huh. Mm. All right, let's see. What did I do here? I got, I got that taken care of. Let's get that done. That's enough. Hmm. There we go. It was empty as it looked from afar, but the owners left some things we could use. Bedding or clothes, his burglar trait helped, her housekeeping trait helped. 75 cloth, we got a cigarette, some vodka, first aid kit, and stimulants. Dang! Okay, that's a good haul. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to send y'all across. No, just call him back. 
I'll launch you closer up. All right. Do I have anybody with the... Why is his stuff so small? Because he's got six things now. I need to send them across. Boom, boom, boom. Right up through the way. Finished for a bit. Squad two, go. And move the train out. Mm. I'm hoping nothing major happens there, but. Mm -hmm. Go. Now what? Safety measure activated. Major I can report safety measures effective and prevented an injury. All right, let's see if this is a re regular stop or I get hit with something. The station's quiet. In the far corner, a group of children sit sadly. have seen this many times before. War orphans waiting for their father's return, eagerly checking every train that passes through the village. The look of disappointment on their faces when they see it's only you are one of the things you force yourself to ignore. This time, one of the children gets up and runs towards you. you can't be more than eight years old. Please, I've been sent from our nearby village to get help. My father and the others have been defending it from the Reds for days. I know we can defeat them, but we need help. Then you can't defeat them. You need help. I beg you, please. No one else wa wants to. They're cowards. The boy ends his speech with a scr scream as tears well in his eyes. This is a depressingly familiar scenario. There isn't a village that you've heard of capable of defending itself. The Reds ensure they descend on such places in more than sufficient numbers. They sacrifice efficiency to reject power. The boys' village may already be lost to the Reds. What exactly happened, little one? Or We'll do what we can. Bugger it, let's go. Listen carefully to the boys' story without questioning. Some of the details don't make sense, but overall, it's plausible. It comes from a village that isn't easily accessible, and thus easier to defend. Some of the inhabitants there have military experience, so decided to fight back. The Reds have camped nearby and have attempted to attack on several occasions. However, other problems within the area mean they don't have enough soldiers to take the village completely. But it's probably just a matter of time. The boy is exhausted from talking. He's given his all to convince you to... Your response sparks joy in his eyes. The young and the restless. <laughs> How many of you are old enough to remember that, that series? Sitting around with Grandma watching that. Boy talked about his village and that holds off the reds. He asked for help. Two skull, but recommends eight team members. I've got three good ones out on that. Dang it. Well, uh, let's do it. I mean, why not? What's the merchant got? 
money. All right, let's do this. Let's see how much time have I got? Twenty minutes, really? This episode? Let's do it. They're out on that one. Let's out of the squad. I got a rifleman and a medic. I need, I need snipers. Max. I thought I had a lot more sharpshooters prepped and ready. I do. They're injured. Dogs in the squad. Check him out. He's level three. He's level four. He's at two thirds. do this. Vladimir, I just want to see your level three. You stick it out for a bit. All right. I've got one medic. Where's my other? Two medics. Leona. If you're going, okay, I've got two medics, four sharpshooters, a rifleman, I need grenadiers. Deucing that injury. Andre's hurt. Jaramir. What she got available? Let's see. There we go. You know they're going to deer. Take Catherine. Joseph. She's got the communist belief. He's nationalist. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Now, I got medics. I need. A, I need another rifleman. I got so many guys that are down injured. Bubbles. Hmm.
Hmm. Camel. Camille. All right, let's see. Where are the other good sniper rifles? <sighs> good enough. Let's go. Yeah, I should wait till I was up here and I'm kind of crossed. Go. Mm. Who gets where first? Sorry, man. It was terrible. So many bodies, women, children, murdered, vi violated. Or is behind this the Reds, Whites, or some bandits? They're not human. What the hell? Squad 2, reroute. Plus 20 morale, full morale. Whew. Okay, he's good. All right, I'm not seeing any negatives. They should go to there. They arrive. Let's do this. 14 energy, that's... Alright, let's do it. Situation in the area is difficult to assess. There are signs of a military presence. You encounter several places where small-scale fighting has occurred. You find abandoned equipment. You also discover a few dead bodies of Reds and villagers alike that no one's had time to bury. There seems to be an ongoing conflict in the area, and so far it looks as though either side could prevail. To the difficult terrain, your soldiers are unable to learn more. They will have to go in blind and find out what's going on here. Let's do it. Your soldiers ch change their formation from walking in line to assume fighting positions spread out in, the, in three lines. They advance slowly through the small valley towards what appears to be an outlook tower. From there, hopefully, they will locate the boys' village. The villagers' conflict with the Reds has been going on for some time. We don't know what the situation is. Better head out to the nearby lookout tower. It'll help us locate the village and spot trouble. Quick bathroom break. Be right back. Sorry, gang. I really miscalculated my time and thought I had a lot more to get at least, you know, part of the you know, young and the restless you know, attack and try and save the village in. No. So, my apologies. Thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. Hit the like button like it owes you money. And... Bad things come to mind. Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Share with some friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. <laughs> More important than anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, if there is something or someone important to you, matters in your life, then whether you choose to get up and out face to face with other people or stay behind the safety of your keyboard, just pick up the phone, call an old friend or family member, let them know your care, what you were thinking about. However you choose to do it, get involved and make a difference, but take care, stay safe. Hey, I'm the Articulate Grunt, hope to catch you next time, but for now, I'm out from here.
Bye.